So, uh, I was asked recently uh, what actually is in this bag. This is the camera bag that I bring around just about everywhere. And I, th I figured since I'm doing kind of like an unboxing, everything's just gonna be filmed from top down unless it's like weird B-roll where you zoom into the camera like this. Anyway, this is the uh, Low Pro Pro Tactic 250 a w the name's a mouthful however this bag is very very compact it's small and what i'd say is that it's probably the best bag i have ever used just to carry like camera stuff as you can see i'm right here hello hi and what's what's great about this bag is that it's very modular you see all these little straps like here you can take these out and in and store different stuff like this pouch was not part of the bag originally it came in the bag but you can choose not to put it in i did and it's just strapping it on the side so let's get into the bag shall we because first of all is the tripod i've got the uh i've got this this is the uh sirui t 4 rx it's a very good tripod especially when you go out just to take photos um, very compact. As you can see, it fits nicely into the front of the bag, so I don't actually have to carry an external carrier for this. Very convenient. Tripod. Inside this pouch, we have a lens cleaning kit. This is the Zeiss one. And of course, your little dusty air blow thing. Very helpful. I think these these three always stay on the outside of the bag which is very convenient and i think the most important thing is what's actually inside the bag so let's dive deep into it right now and then we can get into it let's go the good thing i like about this bag is that it opens from the back so you don't have the front zips where you know pickpockets can get into very breathable as well one other thing before we actually get into the bag is that it's got this. This is like a little little bag that you wrap around your bag in case it rains. I don't know why because this bag feels kind of water resistant already. And you've got your, your standard camera bag stuff like, you know, zippers, zippers on the side. Another zipper here. Very good. Very, very useful. So let's get into it. Right now, it, it's, it's a quite a tidy setup. I've only got one body inside because the other body's filming here, along with one of the lenses, which is the uh, 24 to 70 f4, the Sony E-mount one. Uh, usually, it, it'll go here rather than this pouch. So, let's get into the uh, breakdown of what's actually in the bag. First of all, camera body. This is the A7 R2. Very, very good camera because it's my favorite. Full frame, Sony. Uh, works well with all the uh, e-mount lenses and yeah just just a just a great camera 40 megapixels 40 40 megapixels on this the last time I had 40 megapixels it was on my mobile phone and that wasn't that small I mean look at how big the sensor is on this well you can't because it's not gonna focus but yeah look at it it's great so camera body there you go Maybe it should go this way. It looks bad like that, doesn't it? Next up, we have the other lens that I use the most. I think I actually use this more than I do that one because this is the E-mount 16 to 35 millimeter f4. The reason why I use 16 to 35 more than the 24 is because well, 24 to 70 is because 16 is very wide. It allows me to just hold hold the camera. Like hold the camera just away from me and I'm allowed to you know talk well on it uh, 35 very good landscape shot I, I prefer shooting landscape rather than portraits and you know this is this is great the only problem I have with this is that it lacks that big zoom that that one has because that one can go so far in that it's just great so lens number one I use this a lot uh, the second lens that you can see is over here. This is the Helios, uh, what is it? The some Helios something or other. Um, 
uh, 40, M44 or something or other, and it's uh, it's a great lens for all the uh, really nice portrait shots. You get really really cool swirly looking bokeh. But the one thing is that this lens is just manual focus. It only goes to and it, you know manual focus is all right, I guess. And you have the um, manual aperture ring, so little hard to use, but the results are fantastic. That's why this stays in always. It's so small that it doesn't take any space at all. So this always stays in the bag. Very, very convenient. This is a pouch. Inside the pouch is a light, which is the aperture uh, Amaran something around, um, something around this. It's, the, it's a really small pocket light. Hang on. If I just do this, it's this. This is currently lighting the scene, so I'm not gonna take it off. Put it back, put it back. Right, so that light goes here. Half the time I use this in case I need an emergency light source. Not, It's not actually a main light source or anything. It's just, just in case. So, Aperture Amaran light. The other one is this. This is a pouch for three filters. Filters are just meant for me to make the scene slightly darker. And it's just to main, uh, allow you to maintain your frame rate. Or if you want to take photos of a long exposure shot. These are all uh, variable NDs. So if you see clearly, like right now, it's dark. If I were to do this, you can see through. Do that. And you can't see through. Variable ND is very helpful. And I think one of the most important things in the uh, in the camera bag. There are three of them for three different lenses, just in case. Always carry your filters. Always carry filters. Next up is this pouch that's usually not in there. Inside this pouch, you'll find things that fall out, batteries. I've got loads of them because I use the A7R2 again, again. It's the A7R2 and the A7S2. So the batteries they use are the same. So I just have one pouch for all of them. And when they, I exhaust them, I just uh, flip them and put them into like a little compartment inside this pouch. Very convenient. Uh, this pouch is like what, one to three dollars. You can find it at any like stationary store. Very helpful. Pouch for your batteries. Uh, next up, this is the uh, Peak Design strap because they, the reason why I got this uh, rather than a regular strap for my camera is that because they're so easy to use. So if you got your camera body here, you have these little tabs and they just, and what you do is you take your tab and you just do this. You see, you don't find it and then, oh, you, uh, you do that on both sides and you release them that quickly. This is why I have these. The A7S2 also has two of these tabs and they share this strap. Very, very convenient. Very convenient and what? what's more, I only need to buy one strap. I don't need to buy more. I don't need to buy multiple and they don't tangle. Next up, I've got a very, very cheap remote shutter because sometimes you don't want to touch a camera. Every, all, most of the times when you want to take a bulb mode shot, you cannot touch a camera. This is important. So keeping a remote shutter in your bag. It's so small and it doesn't take any space. This one's wired, it doesn't use any batteries. So, and you see, after you coil the cable around it, it's kind of like this. It's nothing, it's, it's not even the size of the camera, look at it. So, keep one of these always. Next up, this. This is the Rode Video Mic uh, Pro Plus. Very, very good microphone. Allows you to get the best quality out of any mic I've ever used. Apart from the uh, clip-on mic that I'm using now, but then obviously it's a wire. This thing, this thing, you know, runs up batteries. It's got, it, when, you, when you start your camera, then it powers up. Everything about this microphone is superb. It's wonderful. Let's put that here. Lastly, inside one of these zips, you have, you can see it right here, right now. 
I also put coins in here just in case I ever need to like tighten the tripod or something. Just, just something that I, I keep. And also, uh, before I get to the last thing, there's a sleeve here for your laptop, just for ease of reach when you go to the airport or something. That is the bag. We're gonna put the bag away for now. And look at that, how nicely arranged everything is. The last thing and the most important thing, never forget these SD cards. Always bring a case and just put all your SD cards in like that. Arrange them and then once you're done, for me, when the SD card's done, I just put it on this side. This 8 gig is ne never used. So that's everything that's here is empty right now. Unless it's of course inside the camera, which I have a 128 gig one. So anytime this is done, I just pop it over here. Don't touch, touch. Don't touch, touch. Very, very easy. Very, very simple. So there you have it. That's everything that's in my camera bag when I go for, you know, a little baby shoot. And I'm gonna just I'm gonna put, it, put them nicely like that. And yeah, everything that's here. Oh, hang on. No, not everything because we're still missing a couple of guys. This this guy, for example. I'm gonna pull everything slightly back a little. Make sure the shot is nice. So everything that you see here is just something that I bring out all the time because if I'm if I'm very honest, the, um, going out on a shoot, they don't take a lot of. Um, it, it just doesn't take a lot of effort. It's just. It's just whether or not you're willing to go out and go out of your way to carry gear like this. So there you have it. Everything that's in my camera bag for the year of 2019. Um, I think sometimes I like to squeeze in that, uh, that A7S II, but other, other times this is it. This is what I go out if I'm this is what I bring out if I want to go take photos. So I hope you've enjoyed this little insight into uh, into my stuff. Uh, let me know in the comments what do you carry around because I I very much like to see other people's gear stuff. So if you have your gear and it's on a video or on a picture, take it and let me know because I want to see it. But these are my stuff. Feel free to gloss over them because I love them and I love you. So, no, hang on. That, 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 uh, 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 something like that. It was a thumbs up. I, li I like all of you. So, take care and goodbye.